So a little movie dropped this past weekend um, from the folks at the Daily Wire, Matt Walsh. Whether you love him, hate him, like the Daily Wire, hate the Daily Wire, whatever. Um, you got to admit, the movie they dropped this past weekend is one of those movies that, well, it's going to make you say, to borrow a line from Arsenio Hall, if you're old enough from the 80s and 90s, you'll know. It's going to make you say, hmm. That movie is called Am I Racist? Now, full disclosure, I haven't seen the movie yet. It's one that I would like to go see. Um, along with Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, I haven't seen it yet either. Um, it, it basically, what the movie is about, it's about Matt Walsh going in disguise. And he's basically trying to earn his DEI certificate on a mock journey towards anti-racism. Now, DEI, I've covered in other videos talking about things such as Star Wars and Marvel and so on and so forth. Diversity, equity, and inclusion, uh, which is, which in my view, my opinion is, well, let's face it, it's, it's racism in reverse. When, when, you, when you really break it down and look at, into it. But what's amazing to me is, is the fact that this little movie, this past weekend, showed up in uh, 1,500 theaters plus, and it did 4.7 million at the box office. For a little for a little mockumentary. Now, what's interesting is, is this movie was released on the 50th anniversary of Blazing Saddles. And most definitely, you could not make Blazing Saddles today. Because it would be deemed as offensive and whatever is or ism you want to give it. When when really it it at the time was in and of itself making fun of um, race relations, making fun of race. In fact, growing up in the 70s and 80s, we didn't worry about race then. So we have really regressed since Blazing Saddles. We've regressed in the last 50 years. Um, so what's interesting to me about this is the fact that if you look over on Rotten Tomatoes, There's not, there are a few reviews, but according to the, the tomato meter, there's not a single critics review. Now that doesn't surprise me. That doesn't surprise me at all. Because this movie does not fit in with the ideology of say 99% of the critics out there. Now there are a few critics reviews. Uh, Matthew Petkovic. Matt Walsh swiftly and entertainingly exposes the race industry for the crazy charlatan grift that it is. Uh, Alan Ng, over at Film Threat, half the audience will laugh, the other half will walk out. Christian Toto, Hollywood and Toto. Matt Walsh exposes DEI madness and hysterical overdue takedown. Yeah, it's, it's long overdue. Uh, Avi Offer. A bold, provocative, and outrageously funny documentary, regardless of where you stand politically, am I racist, will be an eye-opening experience that will change the way you look at anti-racist and racism in America. Uh, Colin Garbino, Garbino, hopefully I pronounced that right. Walsh has a knack for asking seemingly ingenious questions that make his interlocu interlocutors sound like the racists. It's a shame he didn't rely on this tactic more. The documentary often veers into absurdity with Walsh indulging in society, so socially awkward behavior. So if you look at the popcorn meter, which used to be the audience score, it's at 99%. People like this movie. Some people think it's funny. Now, um... We got to touch on this. So 
Jeremy Johns put out a review on his YouTube channel. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. He put it out yesterday. It's about a four minute video where he reviews it. I am I racist? And Matt Jarbo over on X. He, he didn't like it. The fact that Jeremy Johns had the audacity to review this movie. Well, Matt, he's a movie reviewer, just like you are. He's doing his job. And needless to say, Matt Jarbo got just torched. It's a movie playing in theaters. Why shouldn't he review it? Because it disagrees with your political ideology. That's why they're not reviewing it on Rotten Tomatoes. I bet if some college kid went out and did some documentary on trans black girls on New York streets corners, you, you would be cooming. <laughs> of course, Matt Jarbo has to say Matt Walsh is a disingenuous hack. Have you, that, that just tells me right there. He's never listened to Matt Walsh. Now I disagree with Matt Walsh on a lot of things. Most of those things center around um, pop culture and, and gaming. But when it comes to things like what is a woman? Am I racist? He, he, he hits the nail on the head pretty well. Uh, what part of his video was bad or promoted Matt Walsh? He's a film critic. It's in theaters. Why wouldn't he review it? Oh, it's because it has, it has someone you don't like in it. Yeah. That's the truth. Matt Jarbo goes on to say it's propaganda. In hyperbolic trash. Um, man, he's replying to everybody on here. The reason he remains relevant while you're not is because he's always shared his honest opinions while you couldn't hide your biases if you try. In short, you are jealous of his long-lasting and well-deserved success. He's talking about Jeremy Johns. Now, one last thing I need to touch on here is there was a campaign from the left trying to get Am I Racist removed from theaters, and the small cinema chain called Prime Cinemas, well, they put this out there this past Friday. Due to the strong reactions from our community for and against the film and concerns for the well-being of our staff, we will not be playing the film Am I Racist as originally intended. Please know that it was not our intention to cause such division by playing this film. We noticed that many of the theaters in the Sacramento area were booked to play this film, and quite frankly, this reaction caught us off guard. The safety is our sta of our staff is our number one priority. Please accept our... Apologies. Sincerely, Prime Cinemas. And Jenna Ellis, who I disagree with quite a bit, mostly about, you know, election stuff. So movie theaters have to agree with the content to play a film? Interesting. I guess this means Prime Cinemas endorses uh, a lot of bad things in society today. I'll put it that way. How is the safety of their staff jeopardized by showing this movie in their theaters? It's not. It's an excuse. It's, it's, it's an excuse to not show it. You could also take up or take Elon Musk up on his offer to show it on X for maximum reach. The tolerant left strikes again. But once again, Republicans are the fascists. Yep, that's right. The censorship by the far left knows no bounds. If they don't like something, they, then nobody gets to watch it. This is a quote from George Orwell. The further a society drifts from truth, the more it will hate those who speak it. What is odd is people will say your film is the problem, not the people who organize to intimidate and shut down those who want to show it or watch it. When are people going to realize the radical left is the problem? Yeah. So there you have it. Just wanted to touch on this. The fact that this little movie here has done $4.7 million with the critics not want the critics against it. The left against it. Don't want you to see it. 
And I think good for Matt Walsh, good for the Daily Wire. I don't agree with them. Like I said before, I don't agree with everything that Matt Walsh has said in the past. I don't agree with everything that the Daily Wire puts out. But that's a good thing to not agree in lockstep 100%. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. Have you seen this movie? Do you plan on seeing this movie? What are your thoughts about the movie? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, while you're at it, please, if you would, to support this channel and, and get my content promoted, give me a thumbs up. Sla smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you like some of the stuff that I cover, give me a subscribe. And uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I hope everybody has a great Monday. Talk to you later.